By the way, even though Dr. Yusuf said we shouldn't have bothered uh, General Lukola Day, we have him online. Uh, he's been yeah. bothered at, <laughs> at last <laughs> by, <laughs> by, by, by our producers. General Chris Olukola Day, good to have you join us on Nigeria 2015. Tell us exactly what is happening, the situation report reaching your office. Uh, uh, perhaps uh, how are they faring watching the, uh, the nation? Your men are all out on the street uh, watching that this uh, particular process is not truncated. Well, uh, by now it should be clear to all that uh, the military is not there to threaten any loyal abiding our citizens, but we will remain in a place of deployment, watching out for any attempt to disrupt the peace of the nation, and uh, the deployments will remain vigilant for as long as the need is there to maintain security and to remain uh, in the place of deployment and ensure that no threat is able to overrun uh, security as a nation. Well, earlier on, a mention of your name popped up here when we had a couple of issues here in Lagos, southwest of Nigeria, along the Ikorodu axis, where uh, some of your men uh, doing, going about their duties uh, have uh, prevented people from going uh, across uh, that particular route. But uh, the CP Lagos uh, has just told us before you came on live that, uh, well, he's spoken with the uh, command, uh, commander, not the GOC, okay. the brigade commander there, and uh, that has been sorted out. Tell us uh, about the movement of persons in other parts that elections will be taking place. Well, uh, our involvement, as you can see, has not been very visible uh, until a certain time. And we are just responding to the, the reading of the situation. As we read it and uh, it calls for the, any form of deployment, you see it uh, swiftly. The important thing, like I said, is that uh, we are remaining very vigilant to respond as the need arises. Tell us, uh, well, on the eve of the election, uh, we had that fantastic news uh, for the nation where, well, Gwaza was taken, recaptured by uh, your men, a uh, thing of joy. Uh, how have you been able to sustain some of your action in uh, the trouble sports uh, in Nigeria's northeast? Well, uh, as you refer to Gwaza, it's not as if uh, operation is completely over in that direction. We are still involved in coordinate and search. Uh, where we are true, we say we went to the discoveries, uh, you know, known to the public. But there are, there are deployments also all over the country uh, in response to, to any challenge and uh, watching out for anything to threaten, uh, that, that threatens the peace of the nation. Well, in some areas, you know, before now, the elections, uh, there had been a controversy as to whether or not the military will be deployed for the elections. How would you say that the military responded to this? Well, as we have continued to maintain, uh, the issue is not election, but the nation's security. And that will always involve the military, uh, whether or not there is an election. And in this instance, we're simply... Uh, being vigilant to do our duty, and uh, uh, as you have seen also, it, it has not constituted any form of threat to law-abiding citizens in any way. Uh, anyone who has motives that other than the peace of the nation may be the only one who has cause to worry, and uh, that does not uh, detract or intimidate us from doing our work as, de as demanded of, of, of us in the Constitution and, and legislative directives. Would you have further advice for Nigerians, especially uh, as we understand that in some areas voting will still continue and some people are still a little apprehensive as to what could happen when results are announced? Well, uh, everything by election referred to INEC. Our interest is in the national security and we will remain vigilant to forestall any, any threats to the nation. So what will be your message to Nigerians then? There is no cause for alarm. Their military and security agencies are very alert and are ready to handle any situation that may disturb the peace of the nation. Well, uh, General Chris, I would like to thank you so very much for speaking with us this morning. And uh, I do hope that uh, well, your lines will be open as always as we will definitely reach out to you in the course of the program. Thank you. And good morning. Yeah, good morning.
And again, uh, very quickly, let's uh, look at so many other comments uh, that uh, we talked about the governors just before the news uh, uh, earlier on. They have been speaking. A couple of them have spoken already on the outcome of this particular election, telling the nation what they feel, uh, specifically addressing the estates. And, uh, well, yesterday, the governor, we caught him on camera live. Uh, that's uh, Governor Fashola casting his ballot. He did also speak to other people. But this time, we will take you to... Uh, Kogi State, north central of Nigeria. The governor, Idris Wada, will describe the elections in the state as credible and transparent. Governor Wada told reporters that the card readers worked without hitches in the areas he monitored. The work that INET has done over the years is manifesting into people having confidence in the credibility of the system, the transparency of the system, and the, the, the electronic introduction seems to be working. So this has, once there is confidence in the system, confidence in the empire, and the federal government has provided under President Lord Jonathan what he promised to provide.